vaping saved my life. Welcome back vapers and vapies. Today's video is all about August 8th. <laughs> Alright guys, so today is the day. Today is August 8th, the day that the FDA deeming regs go into effect. I wanted to do a quick video about what we can expect now that August 8th is here. I know I've done previous videos about the FDA and the regulations before and so have all of the other vaping YouTube personalities. So let me just preface that this is the FDA video for the United States of America. But I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I learned about it because I've actually still had people asking me what is going to happen like I was posting about I think I posted about it yesterday and the day before on Twitter and or Instagram and some people were still like what's going on on August 8th so here is what I know so there will be no new products on the market any new products would have to pass a PTMA, which is a pre-market tobacco application, or an SE. And those are so super expensive as well as really hard to get past anyway. So as far as new vaping equipment on the market, no. And actually, I am using something brand new to the market, which is the Axiom, and something that's been on the market for probably a year now. This is the E-Leaf iStick 40 Watt TC. Vape shops will be required to check IDs, so you have to be 18 years or older, depending on where you live. I know California and I believe Hawaii are 21 or older, but you can still go into a vape shop. If you're not of age, just if you plan on buying anything, you have to show your IDs. And most places already did that themselves, so it's like self-regulated rule where most shops would check. Even I, doing my giveaways, would check IDs, making sure anybody who gets any vaping supplies is 18 or older. Online sales are still good. You can still buy things online, however, the age verification process of that is a little confusing. There are no more free samples and no more vape vending machines, which I personally never saw one before, but I guess that exists because they had to make a rule about that as well. So no free samples, shops can't give out free samples, and that kind of makes it really a gray area for me whether or not I can do giveaways. I don't think I can continue to do it the way that I have always done, but I'm definitely looking into that for you guys. Another thing is, oh, it's a baby. I love this thing. It's just so great. Another thing is kind of like the health standard issue. They've raised that, so there has to be childproof caps, which some companies have already done themselves, but like that's like now you have to have that, as well as higher like standards, like e liquid for e liquid. Like you can't have like a house e liquid because the, the has to have a higher health standard than what most like DIY people can afford. Shops cannot help people rebuild or they are classified as a tobacco manufacturer, which is so crazy to me. And they also can't like repair your device for you or put your device together or sh like do your device like help you with your device. They can show you or demonstrate or instruct you on how to do it, but they can't like so they could tell you how to build a coil, but they can't build your coil for you. And another note on the e-liquid thing, e-liquid vendors can't do like flavor shots or different nicotine levels or PGBG ratios because that's all considered a new product and it has to be a product that was for sure on the market before today to be able to continue to sell it. So if you would get a flavor and you'd add an extra shot to it, you can no longer add the extra shot to it. It has to be just that flavor that they were selling. And basically, two years from now, if we cannot get the support from our state representatives for the Cole Bishop Amendment to change the predicate date from 2007, 99.9% .9 of all the vapor products that are on the market now that are being allowed to be sold for that two years will be gone. They will need PTMAs, all of them. So if you don't want this to happen, then you need to do your part, which is calling your state representatives on the phone and urging them to support and co-sponsor the Cole Bishop Amendment. You need to follow kasa.org, not blowing smoke, the right to be smoke free. All these vaping advocacy groups can help you learn how you can fight for your right to vape, but really now more than ever, you just need to call your state representatives. But we definitely need to come together as vapers to do our part and fight for our right to vape because what you see now is what you get. And if you want that to at least stay that way, you need to do your part and urge your state representatives, call, email, letter, all that good stuff. And another thing that I'm not super clear on, but vape vendors and manufacturers are no longer allowed to say that their product is healthier than smoking. 
Now, I don't know if that means that I can't say it. I'm not a vape vendor. I don't have an e-liquid line or a mod or anything. If you have anything you'd like to add that you know that wasn't mentioned in this video, go ahead and comment down below. I will link to a few important places like the FDA regs.info where you can see a timeline of these regulations and how they affect the vaping industry. But that's it for today's video. Just a quick little informational for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel that I haven't uploaded to in a really long time, but I'm planning on it. So you can check that out if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. I'm so hoping that most of that, if not all of that information was correct or in like the area of correct because God, they just want to screw us.